What's going on guys? Of course, my name is Mr. Hurricane and today I'm coming at you with a Madden 13 Ultimate Team video. I haven't brought one of these in quite some time. I haven't played a lot of Ultimate Team this year. It's something that's always highly requested by everybody, but I just don't have the interest in the mode that I kind of wish I had. Like, I want to like the mode more than I do, and there's some things about it that have turned me away this year, but I think I've found a way to kind of get back into it. Of course, if you know me and you watch my dynasties, my connected careers, my franchise modes, I'm a team builder. I love to build teams, and so you would think that I would love Madden Ultimate Team. But the, the kind of the game breaker for me has been that I can't build it. Well, I don't. I shouldn't say that. No, I shouldn't say that I can't build it the way I want to and be competitive. But I just feel that when you play teams full of legends, and the legend cards in particular, they skew gameplay so much in some scenarios. Guys who are really high rated, like I, my nemesis in this game is John Mackey. I can't stand playing against them because I feel the legends are almost perfect players. And every football player and every team have their flaws. And I think legends kind of... They don't have flaws. I mean, they don't have any problems with them. Like, even Adrian Peterson has a low carrying rating, so he's not exactly perfect. And Arian Foster doesn't have the greatest speed in the world. So not everybody's perfect. Legends, they, they're basically perfect players at whatever position they have to be at. And I wish they blended in more with the best players of today's NFL. I know we're talking about some of the greatest players of all time. Jerry Rice, Lawrence Taylor, guys like that. But I don't think Madden should be about guys who are in their 50s. I don't think that Madden should be giving them such an advantage that you have to either pay money to get these legendary packs or you have to sell your coins for legendary packs because I don't want a single legend. I love Deion Sanders, but I don't want him on my team. I want Patrick Peterson. I want Randy Moss's maybe Minnesota Vikings card. I'll go that high. Like I'll take, I like some of those cards they put out there, some of those boosted current player cards. But if you look at some of the ratings that the Legends have, they're not 99 overall players. Look at the 99 overall players that are in the game, and look at the ratings for some of the Legends. They're more like 102, 103, 104 rated players, but the game only tracks it up to 99, and that's where you get a lot of players who are super crazy on this game and I just don't want to play with them so I, I play against them anyway sometimes because I want to play teams that are better than me I like giving myself a challenge I rarely play anybody who is rated lower than me and I feel it makes me a better player to do this and I have a lot more fun so I'll build my team with my current rated players or the current day players and I think I can have a lot of fun doing this if I just stick to it a little bit better and maybe I do more with the mode if I was a little bit busier and I could buy more packs and I could build different teams like I see you can have multiple lineups and there's plenty you can do with your reserves like one of the things I just got interesting earlier was collecting some of these special cards you get as rewards rather whether it be from like a card pack or completing a solo challenge that'd be cool to collect those cards and just to hold on to them and I like to just build up my card deck and be able to make okay I'll make a team that's a good 3-4 defense now I'll go ahead and play some 4-3 and I would I think that'd be a lot of fun to do obviously they could do it a little bit better with the lineups they have and how you can only have a 55 man roster a 53 man roster it's still versatile enough where you can hold on to as many cards as you really need to you have like a thousand cards in your reserves or whatever and that would interest me in like filling it up with good players and I want to create the best teams possible with no legend I want to go out there with my team and beat 99s, beat the high 90 rated players, and be able to do it with a team that I created using just the base players or whatever, just players from today, and not using any legends. This is what I like to do on here. Now, my opponent in this game, he's rated better than me. He has a better team rating-wise. He has a couple of legends, and I just like playing guys who are better than me, like I said before. Like, when I can run the ball with Ben Jarvis Green Ellis on you, and both of my guards are like 79 overall, makes me pretty happy I like doing that I like making teams even if I like one of the guys are like I don't know how to pronounce his name I don't know how I just picked him up from the Jacksonville Jaguars he's their right guard he's an 84 overall player but his ratings are so good in some areas those are the type of players his last name is like Nawari I don't know how to pronounce his name but I love players like that low rated players I can go out and just play with I like having those guys like Andrew Luck I don't need a quarterback better than Andrew Luck this guy's a beast dual threat 
He throw, it makes all the throws I want him to throw, and Andrew Luck's my guy for now. So I'm not exactly trying to recreate the movie Moneyball here with my ultimate team, but I do want to find these low-rated players that I can be successful with and beat people who are way better than me on the game because that's how I have my fun. I like to be the underdog. It's... I have to be the underdog, like when I play online, I don't want to be a better team than you, I feel like I should win then, and then if I do, I don't feel as happy when I get the victory, so I want to be, I want to dig myself a hole, and I want to overcome the odds, notice how all my series, the Vikings, the Raiders, UTSA, I'm picking teams that need work done, I don't pick the Patriots, I don't pick the Alabama Crimson Tide, I'm an underdog, I build teams, it's how I have my fun, so that's what I want to do in Ultimate Team, guys, I think if I start making episodes and you guys want to see them, you're probably going to see me going out and just getting different players to uh, fix certain positions, or maybe I'll be working on the side, creating my 3-4 defense I can unleash once, uh, once I figure out um, my complete roster for that scheme. So I would love to do that. And I think that if you guys enjoyed that, I would enjoy bringing back an Ultimate Team series and giving it some sort of reason. Because before, I don't feel like I really had a reason to my Ultimate Team. Although it's basically the same thing. Team building, buying packs, and playing games. Although now I feel like it's a little bit more of something there. I just I don't really know how to explain it. Maybe you guys can figure out in the comment section, but let me know if you do want to see more Ultimate Team from me. I mean, I'm always getting messages about when I'm going to play it again or when I'll live stream it, and perhaps it can be back to a regular series, especially once I wrap up Vikings franchise and All-Pro Football 2K8. And so hopefully for you that wanted Ultimate Team, this makes you happy and you like kind of what I said in this commentary, at least as far as my direction goes. You can have different opinions on Legends and anything in the mode, that's fine. You can voice that yourself, but... Hopefully, what my idea is, is something you guys would enjoy, because right now I'm feeling the urge again to play Ultimate Team, and I want to get into some of those solo challenges, and build up my coin count, and start playing the auction block, and getting some packs, and just doing more with the mode, because I think there's a lot of potential for me to have fun with it this year, even though there are some things that I don't like, and this game is coming close to the end now, third down and 14, and you leave me too much room to run, I know Andrew Luck can run, I get a little cocky here, and I break a tackle, and still take a couple of hits but uh andrew luck doesn't fumble for him because he's a good guy and so anyways guys be sure to leave your feedback in the comment section I really look forward to you guys' feedback i try to read comments as much as i can i respond to quite a few of them and especially when i'm looking forward to maybe making this a new series or reviving it in a way i would like to see your guys' opinions on what you would like to see and if you kind of just liked what i had to say in this commentary so anyways guys have a great day have a great weekend and thank you for watching i'll see you guys later with hopefully some more ultimate team